Jocko. I'm not sure I agree with your statements not to pursue belts in jiu-jitsu. It doesn't seem wrong to me to benchmark success using a rise in rank as a quantifiable measure of success. As a person is working to master their craft, any craft, it's nice to have markers for accomplishment and engagement. Why have belts? Why have belts if they're not to be strived for or why have them right yeah and that's actually a, a little conversation I, I had that I, as soon as he asked me this this is with Brandon you know Brandon Pickworth, Pickworth yeah, yeah. Uh, he's he's been around like since day one yeah, in in the game here yeah. and we were going back and forth on something he said he actually sent me this random because he sent me texts about stuff you know whatever we're doing some projects and, and whatnot and he sent me this random thing well I guess it's random to me it was random to him. Maybe he just listened to a podcast where we were talking about this, but he said, you know, hey, I don't know, you know, I don't know what to agree with this stuff about belts. Yeah. And so, and by the way, Brandon is had a goal of doing 100 burpees in 10 minutes. Brandon is in good shape. He's an athlete, yeah. athletic dude. And for some reason, he can't do 100 burpees in 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. I don't know where he's at right now. We are publicly calling him out yeah. to post his, you know, Video. Video. No cuts. No cuts. Yeah. Or maybe he doesn't have to post the whole thing. I take his word no. for it because he's owned it a bunch of times. Mm-hmm. He'll put like, he'll do a hundred in, or no, I think what he's been doing, he's been doing 10 minutes worth, mm-hmm. however many he can do. Mm-hmm. And he gets like 84. Yeah. So And he'll post it like, hey, I did 84 in 10 minutes. Was that, you can do 10 sets of 10. Yeah, 10 like, sets at one, 10 every, 30 10 every minute. Yeah, or something. It'd have to be less because actual burpees will take a certain amount of time. Yeah, eh, yeah. Ten, that's, no, that's no kinda I'm hard. telling you, ten in a minute is not that hard. Yeah, but plus your rest. Ten you know burpee I mean? pull-ups in a minute oh, pull is up. harder. Yeah, yeah. But still yeah. a good measure. So just regular burpees. Mm-hmm. But back to the conversation. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna try that. By the way. Okay. So Brandon hit me up, and uh, and you know I, I understand belts. You know, and it's because we've said on here, like, don't worry about belts. Don't worry about the belts. The belts are going to come. I understand belts and I understand trying to earn a rank, and that's cool. But I'm telling you, at some point, and I think this will happen to everybody, at, at some point, jujitsu becomes a lot more than just belts. Mm-hmm. And eventually, the jujitsu itself completely bypasses what the belts are and what the belts mean now I, I could you could say back to me like well that's because you're a black belt yeah and so that's why you feel that way because of yeah. course they don't matter to you you're already a black belt so you you know but uh, the, the the fact is that ha- that didn't happen to me at black belt that happened to me at like purple belt I think about midway of my purple belt time I had no care whatsoever of what belt color I was this is literally zero mm. And I just wanted to get better. I just wanted to know more. I just wanted to keep training and never even thought about it after that. And uh, like even like degrees on your per- on your black belt, mm-hmm. like Pete, I was talking to Pete Roberts the other day. Mm-hmm. And he's like, well, what degree are you? You know, he's a black belt, I'm a black belt. He's like, what degree are you? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I got my black belt in 2005. What does that mean? You know what I mean? Like yeah. I don't have the tape on there with how many degrees I am. Not that I don't respect it, yeah. but I just don't care f- for me personally. So, and, and I think that this isn't, like he's, like Brandon's talking about, you know, to master any craft. I think it's the same with any craft that you're trying to master. Yeah. If you're trying to master the craft, yeah, hopefully and eventually, the craft itself becomes more important than the rank that comes with being skilled at the craft. Yeah. That's what I would hope for. That's what, by the way, that also makes it a lot easier to keep pursuing because I don't care. Mm-hmm. I'm not sitting there going, oh, I, hope I hope I get a stripe on my belt today. No, I don't care if I get a stripe on my belt. I want to go learn more. Yeah. And guess what's going to propel you towards more stripes? Wanting to learn more. Yeah. Wanting more stripes does not propel you towards getting more stripes. Yeah. What propels you towards getting more stripes and getting advanced in any craft is getting better at that craft. So focus on getting better at the craft. Yes, sir. The belts are going to come. Yes, sir. Even your belt's going to come one Pre- day. Preach it. <laughs> I, I'm not concerned with belts. Mm. So We're glad you know, you're not. You ain't got much in your future. <laughs> 
<laughs> Nonetheless, yeah. And I think that this it's like a matter of perspective. Okay, first off, you being a black belt and, and thinking that or whatever and be like, yeah, that's easy. It seems like that's obvious that, oh, mm-hmm. it's easy for you to say because you're a black belt, but at the same time, it doesn't kind of go along with that detachment thing. It's like, hey, I'm not in the game. There's no reason for me to f- be striving for any belt right now so I can be detached. I'm not emotionally invested mm-hmm. in the whole situation. I can look back and, uh, and at the same time understand when I came up, me being focused on belts would not have got me here. Yeah. You know, like you have that clear vision. I that's natural. It's a natural thing to be like a blue belt. And I wish I could wear that purple belt and everyone would know yeah. me and respect me as a purple belt. And I'll be, cause I'm, it's, I'm tapping uh, some of the purple belts right now. Yeah. And bro, uh, <clears throat> do you, this is a side note. I don't know if you know this, but if, if you know the feeling of wanting that purple belt really bad and I just want that pur- purple belt and your skills from your pers- from your instructor standpoint, don't match purple belt, and promotion time comes along, and you're okay. This is the time I get my and you don't get that purple belt, bro. You know how sad you're gonna be. Real bro, sad. Bro, I had, I've known people that quit the gym straight up because they didn't get belt uh, promoted on a, on a certain day. And you straight know what that up. is? They, they, that's really sad. It is. It's sad that's from top sad. to bottom, for sure. That's a side note. But I guess sad wasn't even the right, right word. Well, it's sad for them. Yes. Like because if you if you're in that zone where you should be getting your purple belt at some time, yeah. maybe this promotion, maybe next promotion, maybe some other promotion, that means you're dedicated to jiu-jitsu and now you're just gonna walk away because you didn't get the yeah. belch. Yeah, it's yeah, it's rough. And like I said, yeah. like that state of mind can really, really That's jam crazy. you up. Yeah, man, true story. And I've heard of people where they didn't get their belt and then maybe someone else did, not maybe, straight up other people mm-hmm. did. And it was their belt, you know? Like they're, oh, they're all mad. Super mad to the point where they're vocal about it. I tapped that guy out. Why did he get his belt yeah. openly yeah. saying that? So, yeah, it's, yeah. It, it'll jam you up, just well, that whole mindset. One thing, you know, I would say to those people that might be thinking that way, from my perspective and from many jujitsu instructors, the, the, you're, you're advancing and you're getting promoted based on your potential, not based on your skill level to yeah, other like people your, yeah your because to... you, you might be you, you might ha- not have a lot of potential and so you know what hey man the guy's you know he can't train he's you know 68 years old yeah. and he's been training for a year and a half he's learned a lot of knowledge he's here all the time yeah. he can't tap out any other blue belts we're giving him his blue belt yeah. Because for potential of him as a 68 year old man mm-hmm. that never worked out before, and now he's training jujitsu, dude, that guy's a blue belt. Yeah. Um, now, the further you go up, you know, black belt is a little bit more serious. Uh, so is brown, so is purple. But I'm saying you're getting judged against yourself. And that's yeah. an extreme example. By someone else, by the way, not by yourself. Y- yes. You're being judged by your instructor, not yourself. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So yeah, man, and that's the and that's a important thing to and understand. And what's what's your to your point? Everything that we're talking about right now makes jujitsu suck, <laughs> <laughs> right? It makes jujitsu like it makes Seemingly. it. I, it'll make you Seemingly. mad. It'll make you frustrated. It'll yeah. make you. It'll make it political. And this guy got it. And I didn't know. That's not, for me. I just don't even like that stuff. Yeah, you know, don't even like that stuff. Yeah. So, uh, when you're ready, your instructor is going to promote you. Yeah. Until then, keep training. Yeah. And, and, and by the way, also in your work skills, when you're ready to get promoted, you'll get promoted. Yeah. And if you're not ready, you won't. Or there's not an opening, yeah. you won't. You know what you do to solve that? Don't get frustrated. Don't get all crazy. Don't blame the guy that did get promoted. Don't undermine him. Yeah. You know what you do? Keep kicking ass. Yep. Wait, next time it'll be your turn. Yep. Enjoy what you're doing. Master your craft. Yes, sir. Don't let your craft become your master. <laughs> I just said that. Yeah, dang, I liked it. Yeah, awesome. and that's what happens, right? Yeah, you yes, let the thing control you yeah. instead of you controlling the thing. Instead of you mastering it, it's starting to master you and get in your head. Bad. Yeah, but he does make a good point. And here's the thing: is that this is a mix of perspectives. So, where, um, or a clashing of perspectives, where. He's like, are, you know, as a person working to master their craft, any craft, it's nice to have markers for accomplishment and engagement. It's true. Yeah. And I, you know what? I actually texted back to him. I'm like, hey, man, I know I'm not normal. Yeah. I'm not normal. Yeah. And all I need is a rock and a hill. <laughs> yeah. That's what I texted to him. And he laughed. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. But so so there are normal people that need to have like, I want a goal. I want to see. I want to have a okay. checkpoint. And that's OK. Yeah. And that's why. Guess what? There are belts in jujitsu, 
and you can get served. I yeah. don't. We don't really give a lot of stripes out no. at, at Victory. Like me, Jeff Glover, right. Dean Lister, yeah. Craig, James. I mean, we'll give out like occasional stripes, you know, for various reasons. But most of the time, it's like, oh, the guy's ready for his next belt. Right. Let's give it to him. Yeah, and usually the stripes are. That's a subtle thing, in my opinion. Like I've the stripes don't reflect much compared to what belts do, oh, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nonetheless, I mean, yeah, cool. But back in the day, different. you'd see like a four-strike blue belt. Right. That and, guy was the <laughs> deal. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. So, but he's saying you know, not what, And you know what? To, to degrade what you're saying and what Brandon's saying, you know when we do a lot of stripes and a lot of different colored belts? Yeah. Kids. Right. And kids that's, that's that. going to be the point, yeah. And as a grown-ass adult, <laughs> Brandon... <laughs> <laughs> no, as a grown man, you should be yeah. like, oh, I'm just here to learn. Yeah. Here to get after. Well, it. to me, what he's saying doesn't clash with what you're saying, in my opinion. No. It's and a the matter other of thing with Brandon is, Brandon is, you know, I don't know him that well, but, you know, we go back and forth a lot. He's a guy that's like metric driven, you know, like, I'm going to get right. this, I'm going to get this, yeah. I'm going to get that. And that's awesome. That's what makes him successful in, in, in what he does and mm -hmm. the craft that he has mastered. Mm -hmm. Very successful. But he likes to have those. Yeah. Those measurements. Yeah. Let's have metrics to go off and say, look, I just crushed this this goal. Boom, yeah. done. Yeah. So well yeah, and so with belts is gonna be a little bit different, just like with promotions and you know, based on <laughs> skill. So you it, he says it's nice to have markers. And here's sure. the thing, it is nice, of course. Sure. Nice after to have. after when you got your black belt, for you to say, I don't care the fact that I got this black belt, I don't care about that at all. Uh -huh. I don't know if I would believe no, that. No, no, no. You're you'd be correct. Yeah. You'd be correct. I was I was stoked. Yeah. You know? It's just a matter of what and you're striving for. Dean kind of surprised me too. Like I wasn't yeah. expecting it. Right. Which should tell you something. Yes. Sir. I wasn't in there like, tonight's probably gonna be the big night. No, I I like showed up at the gym and trained or whatever. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it was special ceremony time. And yeah. I got the black belch. Yeah. And I was stoked for sure. Yeah. I was stoked. But you know what's funny? Is like at the team, like People, people like, I don't know who heard about it, but people were like, hey man, I heard you got your black belt. And I was like, yeah, yeah. But I didn't tell anyone. Right. I wasn't like, hey everyone, I got my black belt. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> right. But Even yeah. Though, you know what? You know what belt I cared the most about was my purple belt. Yeah. When I got my purple belt, yeah. I was super pumped. Yeah. At that time, it was a big deal. Yeah. Getting your purple belt. I got Ooh. my purple belt from Fabio Santos. Yeah. I, he I wasn't think giving away them deal. purple belts either. No. Back in the day. <laughs> you had, to, you had yeah. to earn that thing. Yeah. And you know what? With And I don't know because obviously I wasn't there at that time. But I think it's always going to be like that. Well, if you get a purple belt, that's a big deal. Yeah, Even purple belt's now, a big deal. it seems yeah, like that's a big deal. Purple belt is definitely a big deal. But because there's just so many people now doing jujitsu. No, purple belt, purple belt is a legitimate, when you're a purple belt, yeah. You will not lose in a fight to a normal person. No. In, in my opinion. Oh, could you get caught with a punch? Yeah, sure. Yeah. But a normal, you know, you've got a very high, high percentage of winning a fight against a normal person if you are a purple belt in jujitsu. Yeah. A good purple belt. Yeah. Meaning not someone that just like got a purple belt for no reason. Right, right. You're right. a real purple it's belt rare. in jujitsu. I mean, a purple belt. You're rolling like when I roll with a purple belt, it's a good roll. Yeah, you know, yep. it's yep. a good roll. It's yes. not like oh, this guy's just a purple belt. Right. Blue belt, most blue belts, you don't have to worry about much of anything. Yeah, when you're at a higher it. level. Yes, yes. I, yeah, I think. I mean, you're not worried when you're rolling with most blue belts, right? I'm worried when I roll with everybody. Yeah, it's just I should, how well, I no, no, no. Worried? Worried? No, no, no. I'm just joking. Yeah, I, I dig it. And you, it's you know, not I'm about me winning No, I'm not saying you're disrespectful, but. I'm not saying you're disrespectful to a blue belt, but but realistically, you know that chances are there's no possible way for them to submit you. Yeah. Very small chance. Yeah, the, yeah. Just purple the, belt, the skill levels don't match. Purple belt, slap sure. a triangle on you or something. And purple yes, belt, grab your arm somewhere. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, that can happen. Noah, you rolled with Noah lately? Yeah, he tapped me out. Oh dang. Well, yeah, not. I mean, not like the but yeah, like within the last year. Yeah, yeah. He straightened my arm out real far. Yeah. I had to go into level nine defense mode. <laughs> <laughs> Sense of yeah. urgency escalated. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I went to full, and I, and he surprised me. That was the thing. You know, we we're rolling, and and all of a sudden, and he's a purple belt. That's there. You have it. There's a classic yeah. example in this in the defense. Good Noah. Of I'm gonna give him. Game. A, I'm gonna give him a nickname right now. Good Noah, because <laughs> he's good, <laughs> and he's very know? handsome. By the way, he's better than your. I'll, typical. <laughs> I'll let you judge that one. <laughs> but he's better than a typical purple belt, though. He's oh, no, really, he's, really. Oh good. yeah, 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 yeah. 
But nonetheless, to your point, that's exactly to your point, though. If you have a purple belt, you're you're yes. not you're not you don't have many holes. No, you know, maybe some timing no. things, maybe some you know whatever. No, you're but, good. Yeah, you're he's a legit. classic example. Yeah, Noah's a good purple belt. Watch yeah. out. But yeah, you don't pursue. Back you know what Noah asked me all the time? When do I get my brown belt? No, I'm just kidding. He no, never oh, said word say, one. No, uh, he doesn't care. Yeah, he's the type of dude that's like, hey, I'll just gonna sit around and tap yeah. everyone out. Maybe one day they'll give me a belt. Maybe they won't. Don't Whatever. care. I'm gonna yeah. keep crushing it. Yeah, and that's how. And keep so tapping out Echo Charles. <laughs> yeah, I know, bro. What's up? Did you give him your brown belt once you got tapped out by him? I wanted to. Actually, I think you know I what's might cool? Have, yeah. When you get tapped out by a lower belt, it's like, guess what? Jujitsu works. They should be able to wear your belt for the rest mm. of the day. <laughs> for the rest of your life. No, <laughs> for demote the yourself. No, jujitsu works. Yes, and sir. if you do a jujitsu move against me, I'm going to tap out to it. Yeah. Like, that's the way it works. Yep. You know, I might try the defense, but the jujitsu works. Yes, sir. I mean, we just saw Roger Gracie, Hodger Gracie against Buchech. Yeah. And people were a little bit freaked out. I was like, yeah, jujitsu works. Yeah. You know, you get that choke on. Buchecha, Buchecha is an animal, yeah. a savage. Yes, but get that gee collar sunk in choke. You got you got Hodger Gracie, X amount of times world champion. Can you imagine his grip strength? You rolled with him. Yes. Yeah, grip strength. Well, how was his grip strength? It was really good, <laughs> but with, and I'm not to go into a whole thing about Hodger's game, but he has this thing where this is weird if you don't know the depths of jujitsu but he has this feeling that he has all bases covered so yeah. he's not necessarily his game isn't to out hustle you it's not to out speed you and it's not to out strength you for sure That's but it's like you. he it's like he has this whole base like all his bases in the jujitsu yeah. situation they're all covered yeah so he'll do this thing that and he was trying to do it on Buchesh, but you know Buchesh is really really good he'll grab one sleeve with the opposite hand he'll mm -hmm. grab the elbow That's and he'll just pull. From close guard, yeah. by the way, and he'll pull, and he'll just wind up on your back, and there's nothing you can yeah, do about it. Yeah. All your little defenses, he's yep. got those covered, yep. no yep. problem. And it's just this thing that it just it's a it's like this eventuality that you have yep. no d defense for. That's how it feels his whole game. Yeah. So yeah, it's, I mean, it's crazy that he was able to bring that same game yep. to someone like Buchesha. Yeah. He was like Buchesha is a beast. Yeah. He's beast. Dang, yeah. It's it's just crazy, but yeah, that's how. Nonetheless, back to the point: it, it, don't pursue the belt. That's not the pursuit. Right. The pursuit is getting better. The belts will come yeah. when the belt comes. To the to to um Brandon's point, when the belt comes, that is nice. And to me, when you get your belt from your instructor, not from yourself, yeah. When you get well, you can't get a belt from yourself. But if you're the guy well, who's getting mad, <laughs> yeah. If you're the guy that's getting mad and because you think you should have got your belt, mm. you're thinking you're getting your belt from yourself. That's what you're thinking. Oh, oh, oh in so, your head, yes. Yes, exactly right. So so forget. I'm that. ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Exactly. No, it's not, not up to you. It's not up to you. You can tap out all the black belts. It's still not up to you. It's up to your instructor. Anyway, when you get your purple belt, brown belt, black belt, yeah, that's, bro, I would say this happens more times than not. If you're a blue belt, you're rolling, you're getting good, you're learning a lot. When you get a purple, a purple belt, that's going to empower you so much to be like, now my standard just mentally is higher now. I'm a purple belt now. That's yeah. my minimum standard right now. Well, a purple belt is full on in the game. Yeah, yeah, right? for sure. You you can't really be super casual and get a purple belt. Right. I'm you saying whether casual you're casual or, or, not. or not. Yeah. I'm saying it is empowering, and it is you. You're gonna have a lot of pride with that. Well, I wouldn't say empowering. I would say it puts you. Um, it 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 raises the bar on you. Like once you're wearing yeah. a purple belt, you can't be, you know, you now you're like, I can't tap to these blue belts anymore. You might, but I'm right. saying. Yeah, same thing. To me, tomato, so tomato. It raises the bar. Yeah. Wouldn't you say head. it raises your standards? Yeah, of rolling, like my own, sta basically exactly okay. what you said. Yeah, like yeah the bar I, is raised. Yeah, I got to represent. Yes, you, you got to represent. You know, all this stuff, it's like, it comes with a sense of pride. So yeah. yes, it's a, it's a deal. And that's why it. also, when you're a blue belt, Enjoy being a blue belt. You yeah. can take more yeah. risks. You can get tapped out. Doesn't matter. You yeah. l let it flow. Yeah, let it flow. Hundred <laughs> percent. But yeah, when you get that belt, yeah, be be happy, be prideful. Post it on Facebook, and you know, thank your training partners, all that stuff. But don't just pursue the belt, man. It'll jam you up yeah. big time.